requested video by again Mr. Sapphire Sumo6615 slash DFTW or whatever because his username is very very long here and uh, I quote he requested a and I quote here again uh, if you want another challenge request we will build a 2.5 liter V6 2017 engine meant to replace the rotary in some ways he said it must have uh, up to 9300 rpm without knocking be naturally aspirated make around 240 horsepower and around 165 pound feet of torque it says he must weigh, must weigh less than 140 kilograms and the whole engine emissions must be lower than 140 yeah, all right so let's begin as you can see we have achieved more than 100 and uh, 100 or 240 horsepower let's start with the specs 60 degrees 6 cylinder engine with aluminium silicon block material and the dual of head comes out with 4 valves per cylinder aluminium silicon head material with variable valve lift the size is 2.5 liter with 81 millimeters on the bore and 80.9 millimeter on the stroke the internals are, are forged steel crankshaft with lightweight forged connecting rods and lightweight forged pistons. I had to push push it to plus 4 quality so, so I can make these internal parts go all the way to 9300 without any issue. The compression ratio is 10.8 to 1 compression ratio with 54 on the cam profile and 100 on the variable valve lift profile. Because we are going in on in the 9000s, I had to push it to 100 so I can achieve, so I can make the, all the power go all the way to 9300. A variable valve lift technology on all cams with plus six quality here, naturally aspirated. A direct fuel injection with twin throttle bodies and standard uh, intake manifold and standard intake system. 91, oct 91 octane fuel is needed, no need, no need to put premium. 13.7 the air fuel ratio with 90 on the ignition timing, which will, which is great. 9300 RPM, this is the limit that he chose in his request with plus one quality here. Tubular head twin headers with single exhaust pipe. Yes, since this engine is, is going to be like a replacement to the rotary, uh, why should why 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 give it a twin exhaust? A single exhaust type will make a great, great a great looking behind a sport car. It will make it really really great, and it will and it it, it, will, it will make great horsepower with with this exhaust. No need to put twin exhaust. The twin exhaust will give it more more power but less torque. Or but it's okay. This, this a single pipe will also make great amount of power. High flow high flow three way. Cadillac converters with twin straight through, straight through mufflers with zero quality. The end result is 253 horsepower and 187 pound feet of torque. It's an amazing engine. As you can see, the power can go all the way to 9300 RPM and the, the torque stops at 4200, which is also great. Uh, the engine is smooth somehow, it's responsive, and it's it's not really noisy and that's great for a performance daily driving engine. It has good reliability, it has good fuel economy and it uses all the available octane and as you can see the emissions are very very low which is great. great. The requested emissions are, must be lower than 140 and I manage 73.7 which is very very low. The engine is clean actually, the engine burns the fuel very very efficient, efficient, efficiently. What else should I talk about? Yes, and, and the weight. He requested the engine to be uh, the weight to be less than 140, and this is 130, which is also great. So I, I, as I can, as you can see, I have achieved all, and I did actually more than the request engine. They requested around 240. I made 253, and he requested 160, around 200, 165 pound feet of torque. I did 187. And which uh, the way I see it, the more the better. Why 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 stick to 240 when I can achieve 250? Why uh, why why making 165 pound feet? And uh, why stick to it? I can I can make this uh, this engine more torquier. And as we all know, the the more torque, the better. As you can see, the engine is it is looking great. Look at look at this look twin twin throttle bodies, and this cool V6 shape with these tubular headers it looks absolutely amazing 
And now the time comes to listen to this beast. As you can see it rubbles and it sounds like a high performance engine idle. And the engine idles at 800 RPM and it makes 136 half feet of torque at, at idle, which is great. As you can see here, the exhaust is uh, is restricting some air. I had to make the exhaust a little bit restrictive because all the manufacturers, all the stock engines, come out of the factory with a, a little bit restrictive exhaust system. Why, if you are wondering, why is that? Because with a, with a little bit restrictive ex exhaust, you can make more torque, and uh, I can still make 250 horsepower, which is more than the requested, which is more than the request, which is great. So it's a win-win i can still make the requested horsepower and even more and i can make more torque by making the exhaust a little bit restrictive which is great also the headers the headers are i'm using here tubular headers which which is a, which is a great option for a high performance engine uh, but if you want to make more power and more torque you can use long tubular but long tubular will make the engine uh, which, which, it will make the engineering time a little bit higher and the the production units also a little bit higher and that is not great for a mass-produced engine I mean now it's 159 which is also high for a mass-produced engine but this is a like a high performance high quality engine that's why it's 159 on the engineering time so it's a win-win as, as I told you before and as you can see every, everything here is on the green we have no issues no knocking no valve float the pistons and the internals are uh, going up and down and they're in their comfortable in their comfortable comfortable side there is no issues whatsoever here uh, but the issues here these are not issues these are normal stuff you can find these in any any production car this is normal stuff even if it gets here orange or red it's okay these are only air restrictive stuff there, there are no problems even the intake the intake as you can see it's still restricted a little bit if you want to put it in if you want to make it, you can, you can make more power and torque using throttle per cylinder setup. But again, it will make the production unit and the engineering time also high, and I don't want to go that way. So the engine, as you can see, it looks great, it sounds great, and I have, I did all the requested parts of the request. Now let's look at it. 800 RPM this is the idle speed. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a big rotary fan. I, I really love the rotary engines made by Mazda because they are just amazing. The design, the sound, uh, the, the, the technology, they are just unique and they are beautiful, beautifully made. But unfortunately, they are not really reliable and uh, they, did, they didn't catch on. I mean, I think they, they dropped them. They are, they are not existing right now. You cannot go to any dealer and buy a rotary engine brand new. From any car manufacturer I don't think so but but as a replacement I really like this V6 I, I think the rotary is smooth or, or not smooth I'm not sure but I think the rotary has its unique features that a V engine cannot achieve the design the the RPM for example uh, all, all rotary engine have high amount of RPM you can push that RPM very very high but uh, as you can see, I have achieved it here, 9,300. I mean, there is no point of making, uh, there is no point of using rotary anymore. Even if they are unique and if they, even if they are beautiful, using, they have cancelled them because the technology of uh, V engines and inline engines has been, has been, uh, has been increased very, very much all, uh, along the years. So. This has been a requested video by Mr. Sapphire Sumo 6615 slash DFTW and I'm sorry but username is very very long. Thank you so much for your really cool request and again guys if you enjoyed the video remember to push that like button, push it hard and 
get subscribed and share the video if you want to share it and i will see you with another video very very soon and thank you for guys for watching and i will see you very soon and goodbye